um, Rising Stars, I do feel like it's been sort of a different phase in my career. Um, because up until that point, I think I was, I was sort of just predominantly an actress, but now I've started writing and producing my own projects. So it's been, it is exactly what you say. It is just like diving in head first. And I do um, try to see potential opportunities and really make the most of them because being an actress is wonderful and amazing and I've worked on a lot of really great projects lately that I'm very lucky for, but what's hard sometimes is the lack of control. So I think after that, um, that experience, I was just sort of left with, well, you know, like I'm, I'm, I know a lot of people now, so maybe there is an opportunity for me to start making my own work and that's, it, it has been really fun. I do feel like I have just sort of was diving in head first and seeing what happened, but it's been, it's been really fun and exhilarating. The film that I just did with my mom that is now at market in, in Cannes is called Looking is the Original Sin and she wrote and directed it and we produced it together along with Maria Del Mar who also stars. Um, and it's an idea that she had for a really long time. Um, my mom in a previous career was a photographer so she was always fascinated by the idea of photographing your life as opposed to living it. So it's a mother-daughter story. Um, about the mother's struggle to remain an artist while having a traditional life and, and raising a family. And it's about the daughter's struggle to be exciting like her mom um, and to come to terms with the life that her mom has chosen to live. Yeah, you're definitely right in saying that. My mom and I are incredibly close and it's interesting that as, we, as I get older, we become collaborators more and more. Um, so definitely I think the mother in this film is very different from my mom. She's mentally ill and, and unstable and my mom's like incredibly stable. <laughs> so, but there's definitely our relationship is infused in, in everything that we do together. Um, it's funny because I, people say like, well, how do you keep your work life and your personal relationship with your mom separate? And the thing is, is that they aren't like, we just, we talk about work, we talk about life almost in, in the same breath, but it's never felt weird. It's just what I'm used to. Speaking to um, a director that I really respect recently and he said that it starts off as a job, working in the film industry starts off as a job, then it becomes a career and then it's your life. And that's sort of where I feel like I'm at now. Like my friendships and my personal relationships are all so much a part of my work that I don't really feel there's much separation. And I sometimes I found that a challenge but I find that kind of fun now. Like I have a bunch of wonderful creative friends and we talk about work and we talk about boyfriends and <laughs> you know, it's, it's okay that it's all one thing now. I had a feeling inside me that it was just something that I should try. Um, I was a little bit frustrated with my career at that point because I was sick of waiting like just for the phone to ring um, and I wasn't quite as busy as I am now. So I thought I'm gonna go take this course at Humber and hopefully come out of it with a manuscript. So that's what I did and I, I wanted to write a book because I was interested in characters, I was interested in people and I was interested in doing something that I could do whenever I wanted to. And I think that as you get older, your interests change and you change as a person. So I think that it was, I was sort of expanding at that point and I thought, maybe this is something that I could try now. Maybe there's room for more than just being an actress in my life. Absolutely. It's weird now because when people ask me what I do, I say like actress and then I say, oh, and writer. <laughs> because I guess that is another, that is another career that I have now or it's, it's part of my being an actress career. So yeah, it, it, is, it, it is a defining thing about me definitely now. And what's also interesting is that it gives a lot of, my past experiences just in my own life, a definition and a meaning, um, which I really, really like about writing because you are your, your source material, your, your experiences are, are what you draw upon more, I think, than with being an actress. So that's been really great too. Well, yeah, I, my family is very interesting and everyone's really creative. Um, my parents were very stable and loving and always really encouraged us to be creative, my brother and I. Like there was never anything that we wanted to try that they thought was stupid or weird. They just said like, yeah, like put on a dance show, like do a play, sing for us. 
So that was a big part of my growing up. But I think what I realized is that it was always okay to talk about feelings in my family and to have feelings, um, which I think is maybe different than, than a lot of people. So it was definitely a house where people expressed themselves and, and talked a lot. Um, and I think that that has really shaped who my brother and I are as people now. There was always like a lot of honesty. We didn't have a lot of secrets. Um, well, the movie that I did with my mom, Looking is the Original Sin, is now going to find um, hopefully a home and a buyer in Cannes, so that will be coming out. Um, a movie that I did called Ferocious just came out and will be available on DVD pretty soon, I think. Um, my series, Long Story Short, is being distributed by Chefs right now, so we're going to see where and when that comes out, which is really exciting. Um, I did a movie called Drontrophilia that Bruce LeBruce directed, and that will hopefully, fingers crossed, be at TIFF this year. Um, and then I have a couple of short films that I did. Oh, I did a movie called Sex After Kids, which we're also waiting to see where that's going to come out, and also hopefully at festivals. Um, it's really funny, which is something kind of new for me. Uh, and then I did a short film called The Spirit Game, which is hopefully at TIFF one called Method, um, and I did a short film with my friend Mark O'Brien, he directed it, that is based on one of my short stories called Sweetie Face, so I have, um, I'm really excited to see that we just finished that, that's in post-production now. I think you have to believe in yourself. I think that there can't be any other career that you could do that would make you happy, because this is a very, difficult, not straightforward career. So if there's something else that makes you happy, you should do it. And finally, I think that you should surround yourself with other people that are doing it. I think that, as you mentioned, it is like a real family and community here in Canada. And it's not that hard to break into it or to meet like-minded people. And for me, I think that that's been a big part of my career is going out, getting to know people, creating relationships with people that I admire. Um, being aware of what's happening. So I would, my piece of advice would really be to just try to go out, go see Canadian films, make friends with other filmmakers or actors, and um, just be active in the community because it is very welcoming um, and supportive, I've found.